How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to go through quickly with you guys the release notes on the new firmware update that just came out from Tesla. And this firmware update is a pretty large one. Uh, the number I have for the update is 22.44.25.3. I got mine updated about a week and a half ago, and I know some people are slowly starting to get their updates on their Tesla now. So in this video, I just wanna quickly go through with you guys what is in this update. And I'm not gonna go into too much detail on a bunch of these because uh, some of them I don't have subscriptions for and some of the things I'm, I don't have connected yet. Uh, but I will talk about some of the other ones which I'm excited about because a lot of them are UI or user interface changes. And if you guys don't know, I'm big on user experience, uh, interactivity, interaction. So uh, those were actually pretty significant for me, but there was a lot of other ones in here which are gonna benefit a lot of people. So first things first, let's just go right down the list. Apple Music is now available on the Tesla. And in order for you to uh, add your Apple Music, all you have to do is click on the music icon at the bottom, where right now it's under streaming. Uh, but you are able to now add in your Apple Music. So if you do have a playlist on Apple, uh, right now I normally use um, just the streaming system on the Tesla. Uh, I don't actually use Apple Music enough to, to, to actually want to hook it all up. But if you want to hook up your Apple Music, all you do is click there. It'll show you a uh, code for you to scan. And then once you scan this code in, you just have to put in your Apple credentials and you'll be able to now have all of your Apple Music streamed here to your car. And also one thing to note is that you will need the premium connectivity from Tesla in order for you to access a lot of these updates. So if you guys don't have that, you might not be able to access a bunch of these new features. Next we have Zoom meetings. And yes, you can now take a Zoom call because the Teslas do have, or the ones that do have, the camera here at the very front middle. You are now able to use that as your webcam and you're able to take a Zoom call straight from your car. Now there's a couple ways you can access it. If you do have your calendar hooked up to the Tesla, you can actually launch your Zoom meeting from the calendar. If not, you can also go into the menu here at the very bottom, press that three dots, and then you'll now see a Zoom icon right there. Click on that Zoom icon, and then now you can actually join a meeting or sign into your account in order for you to join that meeting. Next update is dog mode. Now, we've already had dog mode on the car, which is basically keeping the temperature of the interior of your car at a certain temperature that you uh, request or you set. But was before the issue was if you have dog mode on, you weren't able to have sentry mode on. Now you are able to have both. You can have dog mode on, you can also have sentry mode on, and not just that, same thing. Utilizing that front camera, you can now see what's inside of your car. Before with sentry mode, you would only be able to pull up on your phone the exterior cameras. Now you're able to pull up all of those exterior cameras as well as this camera on the interior so you are able to monitor your dog or whoever might be inside of the car from your phone. Next feature is scheduling a light show. So if you guys aren't familiar with Tesla, you are able to do a, a pretty much a kind of a choreographed light show that Tesla puts on. But the great thing is with this uh, scheduled light show, you are now able to actually sync up your car with other cars and have them go at the same time. And to access light show, all you have to do is go onto your toy box. Once you click on toy box, you are then now able to go over to light show schedule a light show. You can choose what time you want the light show to happen, also what the volume is, hit confirm. And like I said, you're able to do this with multiple cars if you guys are all parked around because you can all schedule at the same time. Next up that we have is climate control fan speed. This was something I had an issue with. Um, this is one of the things as far as like user experience goes, I did not like that drag bar that we always had when we are changing the temperature. Uh, I always said they need something just to click it, you know, so I, I'm able to go in, in increments. Now you are able to do that. So if you click on your climate, now where it says fan, if you are not in auto, you can actually change your fan speed just by pressing the arrows left to right. You also still have the drag bar here at the very top. So if you did like dragging it left to right, you are still able to do that. But not just that, you are able to change when you're in auto, you can actually change the fan speed to either high, medium or low. Next feature we have is MyQ Connected Garage. I actually don't have a MyQ account. Well, I actually have an account. I just don't have these smart features for my garage. But basically what MyQ allows you to do is if you do have a smart garage, you're able to sync that up and link it. That way you can actually pull your car in and if it's automatically linked, you can 
You can have the garage automatically open, automatically close when you are leaving your house. You can also monitor all of those doors of your garage here from the app, which I think is a really cool feature. And that's one of the things I think for me, especially every time I leave the house, I'm like, did I close the garage? Lucky enough, I have cameras here, so I'm able to see if I locked my garage or closed my garage or not. But I think something like this is what probably the next thing I'm probably gonna pick up. Next up that we have is the auto turn signals. And I really like this one. So the one thing that's good about the auto turn signal bef uh, now is that you don't have to uh, undo the signal when you, before you used to be able to just half press the left stock and the signal left to right would go on for about three or four times before it automatically turn off, even if you didn't switch lanes. But now what happens is that if you do switch and uh, switch lanes, it'll automatically turn off. So I just half press the left stock. As you can see here, my camera is gonna stay on, my signal is gonna stay on until I switch lanes. Once I switch lanes, it will automatically turn off just like that. Next feature we have is Mahjong, which is a new game that they added to the arcade. So if you do wanna play that game, just pull up your arcade. You can actually swipe over here to the left and you can see the game Mahjong right there and then hit play. And there we go. We have a new game, which is a matching game and which is a little bit different. I'm so used to Mahjong where you actually feel, I'm, I'm kind of old school. So you actually feel the, the cards uh, from your fingers. Uh, but here you just do everything on screen. So you're basically just gonna pair uh, a lot of these things up. And if you need help, you just actually click on hints and you're able to then help you through. But pretty cool, Mahjong now on the Tesla. Next feature we have is track mode vehicle improvements. And this is something I'm actually pretty excited uh, to test out. Now this is something that's exclusively when you're on an actual track. As far as some of the information that it does tell you, you're able to do uh, Tesla's performance oriented stability control and powertrain settings. So you're able to monitor all that information while you're on the track. And to access the track mode, all you do is go over here to pedals and steering, and then you can scroll up and you can see right here, we do have that track mode option. Right now it is disabled. Like I mentioned, this is something that you're gonna want to do while you are on the track, uh, but you are able to then see your settings, your race presets, how you want your handling, stability assist, regenerative braking, drift preset, pretty cool stuff. And I definitely am excited to hopefully get on the track to test that out. Next couple of features we have that are new is confirming your phone call when transferring as well as contact lookup. Right now uh, with my phone calls, if you walk into your car and on Bluetooth, it'll automatically transfer over a phone call to your car. Now it actually asks for a confirmation before transferring. Also we have contact lookup. I actually don't have my contacts and my calendar hooked up in the Tesla. I just don't, I'd rather have everything on my phone. I don't want it like fully, fully connected here. Uh, but you are able to search for your contacts from your Bluetooth or connected device on your car. Next up that we have is media controls. I do like this one. We do have media controls, which is a lot closer to the driver. Before when you're listening to your music and if you wanted to uh, change out your songs and all of your uh, controls as far as your music goes are normally here on the top right. So if I minimize that, you have your controls, which is a little bit further away from you. All your controls are here on the top right. Now, if you wanna access your music, all you do is press this music icon here at the bottom left, and you'll have this panel slide up. And from here, you're able to change your music. You are also able to swipe this up and see what your re recents and favorites are. Also sources, if you wanna switch it from Apple Music to Bluetooth, Spotify, you're able to do that. And not only that, you are also able to see things like your current drive, your uh, miles since your last charge, your odometer, as well as your tire pressure. So before you would have to go into a few different menus to see these things. Now it is right here, easy access, and it's a lot closer to the driver. Next we have emission testing mode via the mobile app, which is pretty funny. So if you wanted to actually do what basically I'm saying emission testing is basically the, the fart sound that you have in your car, you are now able to control that via your phone, uh, but also you can use the speakers. You probably can't hear it right now, but the speakers, if I press it again, you can see the animation here of all of those pretty much whoopee cushions coming out of the car, which means you're now playing that fart sound on the outside of the car, as well as, of course, you can change it here on the app. And a final update we have is always rainbows. So whenever you're using autopilot, if I go to here, if I go to uh, entertainment, if 
I go to entertainment, go over to Rainbow Road, as you can see. So now if I'm in autopilot, I can actually keep Rainbow Roads on all the time and it'll just basically make your roads uh, nice and colorful. So right now it is off. So as you can see, if I go into autopilot, just like that, you can see that the road itself is just in blue, but nothing is uh, in a rainbow road. So uh, if I want to switch that on, we can go here and now I can switch that on to always have it on. And there you go. Now rainbow road will stay on until I switch it back off. And there it is guys, just a bunch of new firmware updates on the Tesla. This is a pretty big one. And like I said, there's a lot of features on here, like the Apple Music and the Zoom, which are really, really cool features. Really, you know, utilizing all of the components and all the cameras that we do have on this car. But for me, I'm more, uh, you know, impressed with things that I use daily, which is like the fan speed, uh, as well as that signal. Those things that are really helping the user, helping the driver out, on a daily basis. Those are actually, uh, I think, even more significant changes on this firmware update. I'll be making more in-depth videos as I sign up for some of these subscriptions and when I get that MyQ, I'll go through all the details of that. So if you guys are interested in seeing those things or just got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. This is Alton Astacio and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.